For each exponential function, 1. Complete the table of values and draw the graph, and 2. State the domain, range, intercepts, and the equation of the asymptote. In part A, draw the graph of y equals 2 to the power of x. Bring up the table of values. Evaluate the first three terms. Two to the power of zero equals one. Evaluate the last three terms. Draw the graph. The domain is x belongs to the set of real numbers. The range is y belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that y is greater than zero. As the x value decreases, the y value approaches zero but never becomes negative. Therefore, the graph is always above the x axis, giving us the range y is greater than zero. There is no x intercept. The y intercept is 0, 1. The equation of the asymptote is y equals 0. In part b, draw the graph of y equals 3 to the power of x. Bring up the table of values. Evaluate the first three terms. Three to the power of zero equals one. Evaluate the last three terms. Draw the graph. The domain is x belongs to the set of real numbers. The range is y belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that y is greater than zero. There is no x-intercept. The y-intercept is zero, one. The equation of the asymptote is y equals zero. If we compare the graphs of y equals two to the x and y equals three to the x, we can observe that both graphs have a y-intercept at zero, one, and an asymptote at y equals zero. The graph of y equals three to the x is higher than y equals two to the x for positive x values and lower than y equals two to the x for negative x values. In part c, draw the graph of y equals one half to the power of x. Bring up the table of values. Evaluate the first term, one half to the power of negative three. When we have a fraction raised to a negative exponent, we can swap the numerator and denominator and change the sign of the exponent. This gives us a result of eight. The second term is four. The third term is two. One half to the power of zero equals one. The next term is one half. The next term is one over four.
And finally, we have 1 over 8. Draw the graph. The domain is x belongs to the set of real numbers. The range is y belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that y is greater than 0. There is no x intercept. The y-intercept is 0, 1. The equation of the asymptote is y equals 0. The graph of y equals 1 half to the power of x is the reflection of y equals 2 to the x across the y-axis. In part D, draw the graph of y equals 1 over 3 to the power of x. Bring up the table of values. Evaluate the first three terms. One third to the power of 0 equals 1. Evaluate the last three terms. Draw the graph. The domain is x belongs to the set of real numbers. The range is y belongs to the set of real numbers with the restriction that y is greater than 0. There is no x-intercept. The y-intercept is 0, 1. The equation of the asymptote is y equals 0. The graph of y equals 1 third to the power of x is the reflection of y equals 3 to the x across the y-axis. Now we'll move on to part E. Define exponential function. Are the functions y equals 0 to the x and y equals 1 to the x considered exponential functions? What about y equals negative 1 to the power of x? An exponential function is defined as y equals b to the power of x, where b is greater than 0 and b does not equal 1. When b is greater than 1, we get exponential growth. When b is between 0 and 1, we get exponential decay. If b equals 0, we get a horizontal line at y equals 0, so this is not an exponential form. If b equals 1, we get a horizontal line at y equals 1, so this is not an exponential form. If b equals negative 1, we get a discontinuous graph, so this is not an exponential form.